Hi, you guys. It's me, and I'm here with the horoscope for Aquarius for the 11th through the 14th. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Okay, much love, many blessings. We're going to start off jumping right in here, guys. The Libra, the Libra moon, okay? Mostly Libra moon. Um, starts about 4 p.m. on the 11th and ends, uh, I forget exactly what time, it's maybe 10 in the morning um, on the 14th. But anyways, we're doing we're doing the 14th um, pretty much here as well. So I might pack it into the other video as well. But here we go. Okay, thanks for being here. So this is kind of our energy here, our Libra moon, this harmonious, you know, wanting balance, wanting to be friendly and get along and heal the world and, you know, at all costs kind of coming in. Um, but there's also some energy that is coming through strongly with Mars. And this is also Venus opposite Mars. That is the highlight. I've been for a while now. Um, we're going, we're going to have it still through the 17th. Again, sexual tension, drama, you know, um, intense relationship, intense communication. Okay. Um, and this is just, you know, we got to watch ourselves. You got to be uh, watching that ego, you know, watching that overbearingness, um, just, just watching yourself, checking yourself, you know, and stay balanced in, in all ways possible. We have the waning crescent moon here. So it is a time, you know, of kind of reflecting and reviewing where you're going, what you're doing, how it's going so far, reflect, review. Okay. And make changes where, where necessary. Okay. Stay open to that sort of thing. Okay. Now we might be having some issues again with the sun in conjunct Mars. We're kind of, you know, again, rah, rah, rah. We're getting defensive. Things are going down and, you know, make sure and think of those, you know, it's like our desires right now, um, and our identity and our lifestyles again are really changing as well. Cut yourself some slack during this time, you know, and there's a, there's an issue, you know, with what we want and like what we really know is good for us. Okay. So be, be careful about that. You know, that we can be having passions and desires that aren't necessarily, you know, either going to last or just like, again, like what's the best thing for us. Okay. We do have some squaring off energy too, to, uh, some cardinal T squares, uh, with our relationships with our passions and our desires and also with this change, this transformative change in Pluto in these cardinal T-squares, um, as well as Venus and Mars. And again, we'll have these through the 16th, okay? So cardinal T-square, you know, squaring off energy, you know, again, lots of, lots of action, lots of things, you know, popping off, as I always like to say sometimes, you know, but it's also balanced by some yods that we have right now. So that's good. We have, you know, we're really sparking again, brand new conversations here, brand new identity, brand new purpose, brand new sense of self and luck and universe and the way we relate to the world. It's all changing everything, you know, and again, also our financials are our, our, a lot of our jobs, a lot of our careers, a lot of our, you know, side gigs, a lot of this stuff financially is also changing because of the Capricorn stellium that we've been having. And, you know, you're no stranger to change. So I think for you guys here, it's come through extra strong to like jump in, delve in, allow yourself to work through, you know, th through these issues. Again, try to stay as calm as possible and as balanced as possible, knowing what we're going through, knowing that we're learning so much, knowing that we are really resetting you know, the direction that we're headed in a lot of different ways. Okay. So, you know, and again, just be aware that we're going to have some, you know, issues with Mercury uh, squaring off with Saturn at this time. And again, it can heighten these challenges. Also kind of that restriction energy. Okay. Um, narrow mindedness possible coming through. Can't see, you know, like the bigger picture of things. Okay. And again, pay you know, might want to pay particular, um, attention to your health at this time too. Okay. Just make sure you're eating healthy, getting some fresh air, some exercise, little of that stuff, water, you know, can go a really long way abstaining from 
from different substances, okay? So on the 12th, we have the moon conjunct Venus, okay? Well, again, we still have the Venus opposite Mars, but our, our Venus is conjunct with the moon. So again, we could be really like, um, like, oh, hey, we could be really, pay attention to your emotions, Okay, pay attention to your emotions, the, the, the bleeding heart that you have, the care that you have, I think is, is you can build upon um, to help you, again, kind of hone down on, you know, how can I help the world? How can I, and it could be something that could build into mission, okay, at a, at a later time. So our mental capacities, you know, again, restricted a little bit, but we have some like luck and some big change energy going on, okay? It's just all squaring off with us. We also have the moon opposite Mars, again, adding to the moodiness, you know, the impatience, you know, not being satisfied, overreacting, just totally irrational, moody. You know, watch out for the fear too, could still be coming through, okay? So, on the 13th, we have, of course, the end of Mercury retro, uh, excuse me, end of Mars retrograde, but we're also in the shadow period until the second, okay? And we have our moon conjunct Mercury. So again, this kind of still this theme, you know, of this moodiness of just, uh, it can be a time of emotional bonding. It can be, but I mean, we're also, it's kind of like almost like bonding with yourself here, you know, like bond with yourself first before you're going to bond with others. But yeah, things can be kind of, again, there, there can be like a touch, a touch base and a bonding on, on this day. You want to sort through stuff though. Again, you want to kind of, and it may be, you know, it honestly might be one of those situations where literally you had too much to drink and you drunk dial somebody, but then it turns out, okay, blah, blah, blah. Like that's kind of the energy coming through here. So just watch out for that. <laughs> so, but again, there's reasons for everything, of course. Okay. And pay attention to what you're sensitive about. Use the shadow work on it. Okay. Delve into opening yourself again to this new world, to this new you know, ways of thinking. And again, here, what we have coming through very strongly as well, too, is that the relationships on the 13th can really be clouding the thinking. Okay. Relationships can really be, and emotions, you know, also can be kind of clouding, clouding the thinking, taking over the thinking, if you will. Okay. So on the 14th, again, this is where we have the sun conjunct moon. There might be this emotional stability. It might be time, you know, to take a jump you know, again, and to definitely shadow work because there's going to be things that people are going to be on the, on the guard, on the, the offensive, um, taking things, you know, personally reactionary. And it's like, why, why that? Why are you? And sometimes it's just, oh, I'm hungry, blah, blah, blah. You know, of course there's always that, but a lot of times it's still what's going to come through as something that can guide you and lead you if you're willing to do the introspection, if you're willing to do the shadow work. Very easy, very simple, very quick. Check out the playlist and the program. Okay, so what else have we got here? That's about it, you guys. Again, watch out for the intense communications, you know, going, kind of delving into this shadow work, knowing that there may be a lot of emotions flowing, knowing, again, that everything's changing giving everybody the benefit of the doubt, giving yourself the benefit of the doubt, giving your, your, you know, and again, there's a holistic law of attraction edge to this too, you know, that is getting, when you do the shadow work, when you do the inner healing, you get to a baseline that is more authentic and more real with yourself, you know, than you might've ever been before. And it allows you to know what you want and have a better, keener insight for what it is that you truly want. A lot of this is boils down to just working out what it is that we do want, you know, and knowing that we have the power to go within to get it. It's all inside, guys. <laughs> Microcosm, the macrocosm. Stay tuned for more videos. Much love, many blessings. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.